Hey guys, this is Atreides. It's a month away from uh, gin seed season, and uh, <clears throat> I'm going to give you guys some tips and pointers on uh, where to find it and how to pick it. Uh, as we're looking at right here, this is gin seed. It's a uh, it usually starts off as a five figure plant. Uh, you're only going to see the berries only uh, during the first month of and that's in September after that in October you won't see the berries it's an ideal time to uh, to see the berries and, and pick it out uh, but not all plants uh, grow berries so you need to know what to look for now this is what you'll uh, you'll pretty much find and you need to get an eye for this right here now there's two other leaves that you can mistake in this with and the two other leaves is an oak tree uh, the oak tree plants uh, they look just like this and the other plant is uh, is is, is a uh, poison ivy and poison ivy uh, looks just like it but you it's a five finger plant but if you look on the end here uh, it, it bulges out on the end rather than narrows to a point and uh, that's how you can tell the difference between ginseng and poison ivy uh, let's google poison ivy and so you get an idea what the difference is <clears throat> all right here's a poison ivy uh, like I said it looks uh, a whole lot alike uh, this shows a three figure poison ivy uh, but I've seen five just like this right here so if you notice the poison ivy doesn't bulge out on the ends and it's very very close also poison ivy has consistent uh, leaves they pretty much uh, range around the same size there might be one that's smaller than, than the other but if you notice on ginseng, it's in a group of five. You got two smaller ones and three big ones. That's what you need to get an eye for. And the reason why I say you have to have an eye for it is because you're searching through the woods. And the location of the woods that you want to search in is the darkest part of the woods. So the part of the woods that does not receive sun sunlight is the part of the woods you want to to get uh, usually in like uh, a valley that is that is uh, picked up around it's, the ridges would be east and west and the valley would be running north that would be in the dark part of the woods if you're seeing grapevines and ferns you're in the right place if you're seeing poison ivy and uh in lots of uh, uh, sticker bushes you're in the wrong place uh, now don't let that turn you away if, if that's what you're seeing and, and you're also seeing grapevines the the vines uh, hanging from the trees and the ferns is a very very good uh, uh, tip in finding these so if you if you see these ferns right here here let me pop this one up so you guys can see what we're looking at here uh, if you're seeing this right here these ferns uh, the, there's going to be ginseng around now you cannot pick this in a national park so do not go to a national park and try to pick this uh, some some uh, some places only allow three prone plants like this right here. This, this is what they say. Uh, 
that does not necessarily give you uh, that does not necessarily tell you you know the the size of the root the size of the root needs to be carefully I mean the root itself needs to be carefully dug around when you dig around this root you want to dig uh, let's say this plant right here you would want to dig around this plant on the outside border and then uh, gently get to the to the bottom of the root and take as much as the root out as you possibly can and once you get the root out at the at the top of the root where the stem is connected pull that off and stick that stem back into the ground uh, because we want to to repollinate and keep keep the uh, ginseng coming uh, the old thing is uh, a plant could lie dormant for like four years so you you know you might get a lot of ginseng one year and the next year you might not get nothing uh, what I want to suggest to you is if you find ginseng you know don't tell nobody about it and remember where that location is uh, if you find, you know, if you find three plants in this in the same area, you're going to find a lot more in that same area. And it's easy; it's very, very easy to overlook uh, because it hides it hides in with everything else. The berries don't stay on there long, uh, so you know, check it out and uh, see what you can find. Uh, but you want to look for the darkest part of the woods and uh i'm from tennessee so i usually find mine in a you know we, we usually walk on the side of the uh of one side of the valley or the other not usually right down the middle of the valley uh it'll never be on the top of the ridge uh you want to be in the darkest part if you if you're seeing vines you you'll find it uh, but I suggest you when I say you get it you need to get an eye for it you need to know what it, it exactly looks like or you might come home with a bunch of rashes from poison ivy luckily I don't get poison ivy and I've never had this problem so uh, I can't tell you what it feels like but uh every 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 little piece of the, these roots count and you want every little piece here I don't care if it's a little bitty root or if it's a big uh, big man looking root uh, you know you have uh, the 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 band root right here this is what you're you're you want to find uh, that's the dream root to find is the is that band root and they call it the band root because it looks like a band but that's that's the dream root to find if you find that one you know you might want to put it up and hold on to it for yourself and kind of show it off to the people you're selling it to and say look I can find these uh, and I recommend getting a cracker box and filling it up that will give you about I'm pretty sure that's about a pound uh, and right now it's going for uh, $900 through $1,000 uh, and where you sell this stuff is is you could go to your local co-op and uh, you can usually find out um, who who uh, to sell to at, at a local co-op store. Uh, okay, guys, I hope you liked my video. I hope you liked my video. Subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this, and uh, uh, put a comment below. You know, tell me what you guys want to see, and uh, and uh, if you have any questions about this. Uh, I am very experienced in the woods. I know what I'm talking about. 
So if you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer your questions. And uh, I do read my comments. So uh, thank you for watching. See ya.